What do you remember about that Canadian wildfire season last year? I remember it was pretty widespread and uh, it was very devastating to the environment. Smoke painting the sky, haze obscuring skylines, dimming the sun. With that kind of quality, it kind of burned my throat a little bit. But millions of Americans have no choice. There were days that we couldn't walk outside, we walked inside here instead. Yeah. Right. You could see it. If you can see it, I don't want to breathe it. Unseasonably warm weather and a lingering drought have Canadian forests burning again. Conditions said to be the result of climate change and large weather patterns like La Nina. What that does is it reduces uh, the amount of moisture content in the forests. Um, and so they, they burn more easily. Ann Jeffers is an associate professor of civil and environmental engineering at the University of Michigan. She studies the impact of fire on communities and says millions of Americans, even those who live far from wildfires, will have to learn to live with their impacts. They're becoming more severe, more common, and I think it is a hazard that we're just going to have to live with. According to the Canadian Intra-Agency Forest Fire Center, more than a million acres are currently burning. The forecast from Natural Resources Canada calls for an increasing risk of severity from June through August in September, and it's already being felt in the Great Lakes. I've already experienced it because um, I was in Minnesota where those fires were already coming through and I could see it there. Professor Jeffers says there are some steps we can take to protect ourselves, like closing windows and keeping outside doors shut when air quality is poor, wearing N95 masks on air quality alert days, limiting time outside and adjust the air intake on your HVAC system so that it's not taking air from outside, but recirculating it from inside the home. Like that's a very simple step um, that someone can take. And if you use a window AC, make sure you have a tight seal between the unit and the window. But most importantly, take air quality warnings seriously. They're not just for those with underlying health conditions. They're for the millions of Americans who live their lives under a thick blanket of microscopic smoke particles again this year. Very foggy when you walked outside and everywhere you went, it was kind of strange. It was very odd.